Until just a few years ago, far-right parties were largely shunned. Nowadays, far-right parties are everywhere. The question that I ask in my book is, how did far-right parties go from the margins to the mainstream, and did Europe have anything to do with it? Hello, my name is Marta Larmer, and I'm a fellow in European politics at the LSE European Institute. My main area of research is the far-right in Europe, and I particularly look at the far-right in France and Italy. I developed an interest in the far-right in Europe a few years ago when, uh, going down a YouTube rabbit hole, I found a pan-Europeanist far-right song. Everything I had heard about the far-right pretty much said that these parties hated Europe. Here I was faced with a song where they seemed to be really relishing the idea of some form of European civilization. So I did what many people uh, that are faced with a puzzle do and decided to write a PhD on this topic. Until just a few years ago, far-right parties were largely shunned. They were mainly relegated to the margins of politics. Nowadays, far-right parties are everywhere. In some countries, they're actually in government. In most countries, they are in parliament. We frequently think of far-right parties as Eurosceptic, so as political parties that pretty much hate the European Union. One of the things that I show in my book is that the picture is in fact much more complicated. Far-right parties are surely critical of the European Union, but it hasn't always been like that, and they also benefit hugely from a process that they seem to despise. To answer my question, I look at two case studies, uh, France and Italy. In France, I look specifically at the National Rally, or Marine Le Pen's party. And in Italy, I look at the Italian social movement National Alliance, which, in case you don't know it, is the predecessor of Giorgia Meloni's Brothers of Italy. The main argument that I advance in the book is that Europe functioned as an ideological resource for far-right parties. What I mean by that is that it made it possible for them to revisit their political message in a way that made them appear more appealing to new voters, while at the same time maintaining the allegiance of their existing ones. Far-right parties are poised to do really well in the upcoming EU election, and I hope that this book will contribute to understanding much better a political phenomenon that is increasingly relevant in European politics today. If you want to find out more about these topics, you can order this book. Uh, it is coming out at the end of March with Oxford University Press.